In Matthew chapter 21, you can scroll down with me, starting in verse 12. And Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold doves and said unto them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. The corruption of men on full display, has it changed? No, 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 no. It's not gotten any better. It's gotten much worse. As even now in today's modern times, you have many more tools at your fingertips in which you can use to further solicit money from the gullible, from the simple-minded, from those who have abandoned sound doctrine in favor of fables. Today we're going to be looking at Amanda Grace. She is, in my opinion, without a doubt, the worst false prophet on YouTube and many other social media platforms. We're going to be showing you some new avenues that she has incorporated to further increase her income. And why not? We want to biblically refute the fleecing of the flock. There is no reason for this woman to make this much money. And before you get terribly upset at me for doing this, stick around to the end because I've compiled a list in which I will show you how ridiculous this is. Now, this is a live stream that Amanda did about a week ago. What's the content of what she says? Well, it doesn't matter. It's, it's all gibberish. It's all vague psychic predictions. Uh, of course, the worst part of this is her posing as a true prophet while outright blaspheming the name of the living God as though God were actually speaking through her. And I have to tell you, if God were indeed truly speaking through this fraud, certainly we would have to add these words to the canon. Doesn't that make sense? We're hearing from the living God. We'd have to add this to the Bible. But you see, that doesn't happen because she's a fraud. So it doesn't matter what she says within the content. It's always the same. The Lord this, the Lord that. Uh, I shudder. And believe me, Amanda will have to give an answer on Judgment Day as she experiences her own Matthew 7 moment where I have no doubt she'll utter the words, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? How utterly terrifying to fall into the hands of the living God for this person who with a seared conscience refuses to repent and continues her charade of a psychic career. Sadly, she does it in the name of Jesus Christ, which should be terrifying, but here we are. So the first thing I want to point out, for those of you that don't know, is this over here. Now, again, this was a video she did, a live stream she did about a week ago. 188,000 views, absolutely astonishing. This over here is a super chat. People can donate money while they watch her falsely prophesy, and boy, do they. In less than 49 minutes, this fraud took in no less than $950 in less than 49 minutes. Not for anything of substance, but in fact for falsely prophesying. Now, how many of you can say you can make that kind of money in 49 minutes? It is astonishing, but it doesn't stop there. As you watch as I hit play. Look at the ticker on the bottom of the video. She is, of course, linked up with Mike Lindell over at MyPillow. She's got her own promo code, ARC. And why not? We know that all the great prophets in the Old Testament, they all had sponsors, right? I'm pretty sure Elijah uh, was uh, plugged motor oil, didn't he? And we all remember the uh, KFC logos on the tunic of Jeremiah, right? Does that sound familiar? And how about Daniel? We know that Daniel repped Taco Bell. And why not? Why not make a little money while defying Scripture? Remember, freely you have received, freely give? No. That doesn't apply to this. This is different. These people work so hard. We know Amanda, she's often up, as she testifies, at four in the morning. She's so tired receiving words from the Lord. 
right? So why not make a little money on the side while doing this? Now, as we go a little forward, we then see, uh, let me back up a little bit. Uh, hold on, bear with me, because we're going to get to this one right here. If you can see that Beverly Hills Precious Metals, you can see that. And, and of course, Beverly Hills, a nice Christian community. And if you want to uh, take advantage, uh, Amanda sponsors this. And of course, it's normal, right? Now, as we come down here, we can click show more, go into the description. And boy, oh boy, we got stuff to read. Here is the promo code for my pillow. Here is the financial matters pertaining to precious metals. If we go further, here's one for Power Team. What's Power Team? Well, is that a, a biblical reference? No, no. It's an incredible blend of 207 raw superfoods that immensely help your body and organ function, blah, blah, blah. Here's one for Grace and Glory Clothing. And why not? Every good celebrity needs a fashion line. Uh, here you can hit all the sponsors. So if you really feel inspired and tickled by Amanda's psychic predictions, you can click on that and just put all your money. Give it all to Amanda. This is a kid's program. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, here she says, tugging on your heart, if you feel led or want to give or bless this ministry, of course in parentheses, that's between you and the Lord. Uh, you can hit her on Subsplash. Hit her up. Give your money. Maybe you don't like any of these uh, and you want to use a different avenue. Here's Patreon. We'll look at this in just a second. Now, if you don't want to do Patreon, you can hit her up at Cash App. Um, look at, she's making sure that you don't have an excuse. There's no reason for you not to give money because she works hard at her psychic ministry. Now, if all that doesn't work, you can come down here and old-fashioned, maybe some of you are elderly and you just don't know how all this computer stuff works. You can write her a check and send it through snail mail. How about that? Now, as we come to her homepage of her YouTube, uh, don't forget up here is the PayPal link. So in addition to everything that she's listed, uh, if you don't like any of that, you can, uh, maybe it's just easier because you have a PayPal account, you can go and hit her up there. So she has fixed it so that there's no excuse. If you have um, been fed from her trough of psychic pig predictions, and I don't say that to be mean, she has pigs roaming around in the videos while she allegedly receives these holy words from the living God, you can uh, hit her on all of these um, links and forms of revenue to give to your favorite psychic. Now, as I wrap up this video, I wanted to put this all in perspective for you. A modern day alleged holy prophet of God, here's a list of the forms of income for a ministry of what I would call Psychic predictions void of the Holy Spirit and contrary to biblical instruction. Remember, you were told in Holy Scripture, freely you have received, freely give. Here are the different forms. Number one, my pillow. Number two, Beverly Hills Precious Metals. Number three, her Grace and Glory clothing line. And number four, Subsplash. Number five, Cash App. Here's Power Team. Hit her up on Patreon. Here's PayPal. You can send a paper check through snail mail. Or you can hit her up on Super Chat donations when she does her live stream. Number 11, monetization. I know that she was monetized. I'll put a question mark there because I'm not sure if she still is. Um, one that I didn't mention yet, but I'll put this as number 12, is you can watch her as she shows you, usually at the beginning of her live streams, that she's absolutely lavished with gifts. And why not? We remember that, uh, like every prophet of the Old Testament, they were also lavish with gifts, right? It's not like they were lowered into dungeons or beaten, abused, killed, scourged, sawn asunder. 
They were lavish with gifts, right? Why should it be any different for Amanda? Girl needs to get paid because this is hard work. She suffers greatly, again, as she's usually awakened at 3 or 4 in the morning and suffers greatly to bring you these alleged words of God, right? So why not send her all kinds of gifts? In any case, I find this absurd. And again, we do this because we want to biblically refute this woman for her ministry of psychic uh, predictions. It's antichrist. It is blaspheming the living God. And my hope is that if some of you see this, that you will come out of her. Come away from this nonsense, which you were warned about in verses like 2 Timothy 4.3. Here we are. Look what it says. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after what? Their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. These people who have abandoned sound doctrine, they have lusts in which they want so badly to, be, to believe that there are new words and new messages from the living God. It's just not true. But this is prophecy and you're watching it unfold. And what's the result of all this? Well, here, they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. This is what's happening. This again, 2 Timothy chapter 4. So I pray for those of you uh, who see this, that you'll understand that this woman is a fraud. Uh, proven again, look through my library. You'll see the videos that I've done on her. She is effortlessly proven a false prophetess. Even one who said that Trump would win a second term, that was false. So I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you will come back into the truth of Holy Scripture and serve Jesus Christ in, again, truth and sincerity.